Hi, welcome back to my channel, today we will learn how to create this render, first we will create our earth model, then we'll do the shading, set up the environment, and lastly we'll learn about the lighting process. But before we jump into Blender, if you are new here on my channel or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe so you are always updated of my new upcoming videos, and if you love my work and want to support, then you can totally follow me on Patreon, all my patrons will get the blend file for free. Well back to Blender. Delete the cube and the lamp. Shift A, bring in a UV sphere in the scene. Now go to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface. Increase subdivisions to 2. Now right click and shade smooth. Go to the shading window. Make some space for the node editor and then click new. Shift A, bring in an image texture. Duplicate it at least 4 times. Click on open, select your desired texture and click open image. One more thing. I will leave links to all the textures in the description. Now choose the second image texture node and bring in the specular map. Change sRGB to non-color. Now for the third image node, bring in the earth night map. Connect color to emission. We cannot see anything now, actually disconnect it for now, I will talk about this once we set up the scene. Now bring in the earth normal map. sRGB to non-color. As we can't connect it directly to the normal input of the principled node. We have to bring in a normal map node. Now connect normal to normal. Our earth model seems ready, but it needs a little bit of tweaking. Click on one of the textures, and Ctrl T, to bring in mapping and object coordinate nodes. Connect mapping to all the texture nodes. If we go to render tab now, you can see, it's just totally dark. Now we will set up our world settings by switching to world in the shader editor. Shift A, bring in an environment texture. Click on open. I will be using Star's 8K texture as my environment. Connect color to color. Now go to the render view, and we can't see anything, because it's very very dark. I won't change the world settings for now, but later on we will be tweaking some world settings as well. Back to object mode. Shift A, bring in a sun lamp. Move the sun lamp to a side. I dragged it along its y-axis. Rotate the sun along its x-axis to change the direction of light. Rotate it till you have a diagonal curve separating the bright and dark areas of the model. Ctrl Alt 0 to place the camera directly at your viewing angle. Go to camera settings, if I increase the focal length, the background will seem more closer to our model, which we don't want, so we will use a wider focal length, so I will be using 18. Adjust your camera for a better looking shot. Check depth of field. And choose the model as the focus object. Increase f-stop to 3.2 Opacity to 1 Change the sun strength to 8 
check contact shadows. Now we will connect the earth night texture, and you will see the difference. Connect color to emission. Now if we have a closer look, the area of the planet in the dark have lights. Adjust the model by rotating along its Z axis, for some better angle. Now we will create clouds. Shift D to duplicate the model. S1.005 to scale the duplicated model only a little bit. You can see there is only a little bit of scale difference between these two. Now go to the material tab, click on 2 to make this material unique, otherwise you would be messing around with the earth material you created earlier. Click on new to have a new material. Now you can't just directly plug in the cloud texture directly in the principled shader node. Well for this setup, we have to bring in a diffuse node. And now bring in an image texture. Click on open and select the clouds map. Connect color to color and diffuse to the material output node. We can see, now we have clouds but the rest of the surface is all black, we cannot see our earth below. Now we have to change some settings in the principled node. Reduce the specular and roughness values to 0. Increase transmission to 1. Now bring in an add shader, and then connect both the nodes to the add shader node. You can see, only the clouds are visible and rest of the surface is totally reflective. But we still cannot see our earth model underneath. To fix that, go to settings in the cloud material, and check screen space refractions. But still nothing happened. Go to the render tab. Check screen space reflections, and also check refraction, well now we have our earth model with clouds as well. And if you want to have more control over the clouds, you can bring a color ramp and place it right before diffuse. So if you drag the white slider to the left side, the clouds get thicker and dense. And if you bring the black slider to the right side, clouds will start disappearing. Well now if we go to the render view we have something like this, it sure is looking much better now. RZ to rotate the clouds. Try to find a better look for the end result. But if you remember, in my final render, the clouds were visible even on the dark edges, but still, even if we rotate we can't find that result, because the clouds disappear as soon as they enter the dark side, but before fixing it I will change some world settings so our background don't look flat and pops a little bit, it also will create a sense of atmosphere and totally will improve your final render. Increase the strength to 5. Now bring in an emission node, and connect it to volume. Well it's a lot. I will decrease its strength to 0.001. Now I will change its color to dark blue. You can see the difference just by disconnecting and connecting back the emission node. Now bring in a volume scatter node. 
It again is a lot. Decrease its density to 0.0002. Even a smaller number like this has some effect. Change its color again. Don't make this one dark a lot. Now to combine them both, bring in an add node. You can see with and without the new nodes, you can play with the result and change the color values till you get a result that you like. Now check ambient occlusion and bloom. In bloom, set threshold to 2. Knee to 1, radius to 10. Intensity to 0.8. And clamp to 1. And also change its color to sky blue. The background looks fine, but I can find an even better view, so now we will find a better angle, place the camera there, rotate our model to the best view and change the sun. Just like we did before. Yeah I like this look. Now the last step is to make the clouds visible a little bit more over the edge of the darker side. Hold shift and scale the earth down a little bit, you will see some clouds are visible on the edges even in the darker side. You can also play with the sun settings. Now it's totally up to you, but be careful, it can also create some artifacts, but play with it you will know when you reach the limit. Well I love this look. Now before rendering, in volumetrics, change tile size to 4. Check volumetric shadows. Now in shadows, change cube size to 1024, check high bit depth. In color management, change the look to medium high contrast or medium contrast. Well you are done now, but if you want to do more, you can composite your final render, if you want to learn how to composite your final renders or even get started with it, you can check out this video, there you will learn a lot about compositing and much more stuff. I will leave a card above and leave its link in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did then please like the video and subscribe my channel as well so you are always updated of my new upcoming content. Well this is all for today, see you in my next video. Take care till then, happy blending.